Okay, I'm going to create a new SendGrid account for a business and hook that up to an SMTP plugin on a WordPress website. So we go to SendGrid.com and we're going to want to create, um, if, if you already have an account, there is a way to do this, but I'm just going to do this to create a new account. So I'm going to say start for free. I'm going to use... Uh, an address uh, I'm going to do this you you wouldn't have to do this you could just use a password actually I'll just use a password that I use quite a bit there you go Okay, uh, let's see. No, nope, it's not letting me. Hang on. Okay, so now we're going to create this account. All right. We'll add that. Now I'm going to fill this out, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I filled that form out, and just um, now. Okay, hands up. You're okay. No problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create um, a single sender. And so just so you know, with, with SendGrid, you can start and it's free uh, for until you start sending, I don't know what the number is, but it's a lot. So, and then at that point, if you're sending uh, uh, that many emails, then hopefully that's a good problem. So you wouldn't mind if it's, if it's free. So we're going to create a single sender. Okay, so we're going to do this right here. The from name will be me. The from email address is going to be, uh, hang on. Yeah, so here's the thing. You, you need to use an email address that you can actually get in and check. So. I'm just going to do this one and the reply to will be the same and then we'll do that all right and then I'm going to hit create okay so they're going to send you an email okay so let's go check my email and see what happens. So we'll close that, we'll go here. Okay, there it is, verify your single sender. All right, verify. Okay, so return to single sender verification. There we go. All right, so we got it. Okay, so once you set that up, I'm uh, back at the dashboard. So then you're going to want to go to Email API Integration Guide. And we're going to use the SMTP Relay. Okay, so we're going to create an API key. So we'll create the key. Okay. So there is the key. All right, so we're gonna copy this. <clears throat> and I like to copy it and put it uh, just into a, like a text doc or something, somewhere you can grab it just in case you lose the, uh, the copy. So copy, now I'm gonna go to the website uh, here and see what I've done is I have installed Fluent SMTP. So if you were going to do this yourself, you would just click Add New, and you would put in uh, Fluent SMTP, and then you could install it. See, it's active because I've already installed it. But let's go here. Now that it's installed, we can just configure Fluent SMTP. 
Now it's asking us which email service provider. Well, we chose SendGrid. The from email is Mitch at Aveda marketing.com from name is Mitch here's where we paste our API key save that don't do that don't do that okay so that's good so now what we do is we'll do an email test uh, we're gonna send it to Mitch at b3advisors.org from just choose that send okay so it says it delivered it and then we're going to check my email here we go there we go there it is congrats test email successfully sent so that's how you set up send grid uh, and connect it to your website in about six or seven minutes thanks bye